Yep, I'm back. I'm still in the same shot. This one's going to be about uh, when I went to the opening of the Scottish Parliament. Pretty sure it was about 2004 or 5. October. I just looked up there. October the 9th, 2004 is when the new Parliament building opened. I'm going to talk politics. <laughs> no, that is definitely not what I'm talking about. Uh, I just wanted to talk about at an incident or. I don't even know an experience. I, I wouldn't even call that like uh what's it called? I would call it like an incident like slash experience or something like that, but it wasn't very enjoyable, but okay. So when I went to the opening of the Scottish Parliament in two thousand and four, I went because I won the Child of Courage Award, which I think might be my next video. Got a few stories about that when I went down to Westminster Abbey in England and went into like the big church where like where the Queen and all that go for like a coronation and stuff like that. Um, and I uh, got presented this big massive award from this isn't any sign, but like coronation street, it's the East Enders, like the Tony Blair, the Prime Minister at the time, Dick and Dom, and like the a lot of like celebrities back then, I guess you can say. Because I won that award, I got invited to the new Scottish Parliament building by Jack McConnell who was like the first Prime Minister of Scotland at the time. When I went there, it was good, like that's when I met the Queen. If you haven't watched that video, I'm going to put that down in the description below. But I've already made a video on this, but I'm just going to elaborate on this situation. But I just wanted to touch on one specific event that happened when that opening of the Scottish Parliament building happened. So, my dad's a Bond fan at the time. Like everyone is, like everyone loves James Bond. And, oh my lord. What the heck happened to me here? Woo! I found out Sean Connery was going to be there. Obviously he's Scottish. Big James Bond actor back in the day. So, my dad and like, uh, one of my dad's friends was... My dad's friend mostly was like a really big James Bond fan. Loves all of them. And Sean Connery was his favourite. Oh, Went in. And, uh... Sean Connery was like one of the last things I seen. I went up and met the Queen. She was a lovely lady. Nice, nice wee madam. <laughs> For that, Jack took me to see Sean Connery. At this point, I'm like, well, 2004, so I'm six years old here, right? I don't really have a clue who James Bond is. I've never watched a movie at this point or anything. But I got told, oh, this guy's James Bond. So I went up to him and asked him for his autograph. I around and said to a six year old boy, I'm not giving autograph today. That's what he said to me, right? Bear in mind, right? I don't know if you can see how to where my camera is, right? I'm here, right? Obviously I've grew quite a bit, right? But I'm like, I'm tiny, like, I'm up to like, this is going to be a weird, like, comparison, but like, see where, like, a big horse is, like, man, I can't even see, can't even see over the horse, right? Like, horses are right, man, the boy's small, always has been small, right? This guy, Sean Connery, right, turned around and said, not giving an autograph today, right? Bear in mind, I just watched him give a lady an autograph. About five minutes ago or something like that. So that's how I knew who he was because Jack's like, oh, this is Sean Connery and all this. I was like, ah, alright, there's a man. I'm on a mission, get this guy's autograph. No clue who he is, right? So, walk up to him and I'm like, hey, I got an autograph. He's like, nope, no, give an autograph. I was like, good mind, six year old. And I'm like, eh, I just need to give an autograph to the lady. Oh, well, no, I'm, I'm not giving an autograph anymore. I was like, what? What do you mean anymore? Like, you're trying to, like, trying to mug me off here or something, you know what I mean? If I'm a wee boy, I'm a wee cutie, why don't you give me an autograph? He's like, nah, I'm not getting an autograph to you. I was like, oh, oh, yeah. I was like, right, okay then, what do I ever do to you, right? I didn't say that, but like, guy, he's been a complete and utter on the backside. I thought he was a nice guy. Right, he's James Bond, you know what I mean? Like, this guy's going to be a pure gentleman and all this. Nah, far from it. Turned around and said, nah, I'm not getting you an autograph. I was like, please, and um, he said, nope, not doing it, and I was like, why? He's like, just not doing it, and I was like, right, okay, and then Alex Salmon, who was in the next few years, he actually was going to be to go for the first time, and um, and so he turned around, and he's like, you don't know who this is? He's like, but I'm just, I'm not giving an autograph to anyone anymore. This is a wee boy, he's like, he's on a medical uh, IV pump 18 hours of the day, 
he's a little hero of Scotland. And he's like, don't care, I'm not giving one. He's like, well, you can give this wee boy an autograph, or I'm going to escort, uh, escort you out of the building. And he's like, and he looks something like he's about to flip or something, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, oh, you want this to fight go down right in front of my eyes, man? And he's like, right, whatever, right? So he grabbed, he grabbed my autograph book off me, right? You know what? I'll do an example, right? Done this. How was that, right? Literally just scribbled like that. This was like his autograph. How can you see that somebody's autograph? Like, come on, man. Guy, not happy. I have no idea what was wrong with him. And I'm a wee boy. I just find his autograph so I can take it back to my pal's dad and be like, here you go. James Bond is dead, it looks like I just fucking went to back to my primary school early on a Saturday morning, done a wee dawn from him and took it back to him. Like, oh, what an actual, like, what a brat, like, I'm not going to say anything else, but he was an absolute pain, really didn't like him. One guy that I've ever met that's been so, you know what, a complete arsehole basically, and like, just to a six year old boy, like, I just, oh, can not stand him, man. You want to talk about me anymore, man? Gets me, gets right under my skin. I'll ever see that guy ever again? By the way, I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. If you don't know who uh, Sean Connery is, I'm going to put a photo up the screen now of him. So when it was James Bond, right? Oh, boom. So that was him when that's him John James Bond, and this is I'm only six years old. You're declining me an autograph and being an absolute dick about it. So just thought I'd tell you that we. A wee story is it's one of my wee stories that I like to tell because I, I basically I like to tell everyone so that whenever they tell me like ah he was a brat to Sam <laughs> it's uh, just a wee short video just to tell you about my wee experience that I had with a James Bond guy I guess so I bet Daniel Craig didn't like that by the way I bet he's a lovely guy but oh well that's that video make sure you comment like subscribe and do whatever else so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.